Nowadays, Instagram stories are getting very much popular. Big companies like Facebook, YouTube, they are also bringing this feature. So have you ever thought to make this type of animated stories in PowerPoint? Hey guys, this is Zaman and you are watching PowerPoint School. This is our very fast facecam video. I think some of you are surprised to see me because I have not mentioned about this earlier and I wanted to surprise you. Last two years was just like the sweetest dream for me because in these two years I have connected more than 300,000 people in our PowerPoint school family, which means a lot to me. I'm so thankful to all of you because from the very beginning of this YouTube channel, I'm getting your kind support and love, which inspire me to come up with unique ideas. As it is a tutorial video, I'll not make my speech longer, but very soon I'm thinking to make a special QA type video where I will share the details about myself and the journey of PowerPoint School. Now let's keep all these things in a side and focus on our today's tutorial. Here in this video, I will show you how to make this animated Instagram story in just PowerPoint. I have divided this tutorial in three different segments. First, I will show you how to make all the necessary elements. Secondly, I will add the animations. And lastly, you'll get to know how to render this as a high quality video format. Please try to watch this video till the end. So without wasting any further time, let's start out today's tutorial. Here I have already taken a blank slide, but today our slide size looks a bit different. Because to make Instagram story, our slide size must match with the size of our smartphone screen. Let me show you how to do it. Go to design, from slide size, click on custom slide size. And from here, make sure you select portrait and press OK. Then you'll get this exact size. Now to change the background color, click on format background. Here I'll pick this color, close it, go to home, pick a rectangle shape, make it like this, go to format, from shape outline, remove the outline and from shape fill, I'll pick this color. Now rotate it, bring it to here. We need to make few more copies of it. So press Ctrl D to duplicate, bring the new one here, then press Ctrl D 50 to 60 times so that we have that much rectangles. Then press Ctrl A to select all the objects and press Ctrl G to group them together. We need to bring this group of object over here in the top. Now we need to pick a rectangle, drag it over our slide, go to format, from shape outline, select no outline, from shape fill, I'll pick this color that we have used in the background. Click on this small arrow and from here we need to increase the transparency 44%. Then close it, pick a line shape, holding the shift key from your keyboard drag it from left to right, go to format again, click on this small arrow. Under format shape option we need to make few changes, select gradient line, increase the width 11 points. As we need only two gradient stops, so delete the extra ones. For these remaining stops, we have to add two different colors. So select the first stop and I'll pick this color. For the second one, pick another color that we have. From direction, I'll select linear right and you'll get to see a gradient color has been added on this line. Then make a duplicate of this line shape. From rotate, select rotate left 90 degree, bring the new one to here. Holding the shift key from your keyboard, drag it to down, from direction, select linear down, select the first line shape, holding ctrl shift, drag it to down and it will be duplicated. From direction, we need to select linear left. Make sure the ending color of a line match with the starting color of the other line, otherwise it will not look good. Then holding ctrl shift, drag it to left and it will be duplicated. From direction, select linear up. Here you can see we have added all the line shapes with the gradient fill color. So what we can do now, select this transparent rectangle and cover the whole slide. Then pick a oval shape, make it like this, place it here in the middle, pick a rectangle, drag it over here, holding the control button, select these two shapes, go to format, from merge shape, select union. Pick a oval shape again. Drag it over here, place it here, rotate it a bit, place in this way so that it covered the previous one. Holding the control button, select this two from format, 
go to merge shape select subtract then from shape outline select no outline click on this small arrow under format shape option select gradient fill and you'll get to see this color now pick a text box drag it over here add some text i'll change the font to montserrat extra bold italic increase the font size change the font color to white place it here holding ctrl shift drag it to down it will be duplicated make another copy of this text box decrease the font size this time place it here holding the control button select this three and make sure these are in the middle of our slide now i'll pick a star shape make it a smaller one go to format from shape fill change its color from shape outline select no outline place it here and we need to few more copies of it let's make it five after adding these five star shapes make another copy of this text box place it here decrease the font size change the text make it center and i'll place it here in the middle after that i would like to add a picture for our story so go to insert click on picture from here i'll pick this one place it here increase its size right click on it and send it to back make sure it is in the middle then select this group of rectangles right click on it and send it to back so that it hides behind the picture now pick a rounded corner rectangle drag it over here go to format from shape outline select no outline click on this small arrow select gradient fill now what i'll do place it here in the middle pick a text box drag it over here add some text I will change the font, make it white, center, increase the font size, decrease the size of this rectangle, place it here in the middle, holding the control button, select this two and press control G to group. Here we have created all the necessary elements and now we have to add the animations. So let me show you the second stage. At first you need to go to animation, click on animation pane, from here we can look over animation status. Select this group of rectangles first, to add the animation on it, go to add animation from here under motion paths select lines from effect option select right click on this red arrow holding the shift key from your keyboard drag this red dot to the right keep this on click duration 10 seconds select this picture from add animation select grow or shrink keep this start with previous duration 10 seconds now we need to animate this line shapes at first i'll select this line from add animation select wipe from effect option make sure it is selected from bottom keep this with previous duration 0.75 seconds select the second one from add animation select wipe from effect option select from left set a start with previous duration 0.75 second and increase the delay 0.75 seconds select the third one from add animation select wipe from effect option select from top set a start with previous duration 0.75 second and delay 1.50 second in the same way for the last line from add animation select wipe from effect option select from right set a start with previous duration 0.75 second delay 2.25 second select this text box from add animation select fly in from effect option select from left set a start with previous duration 1.25 second and delay 0.50 second click on this drop down arrow go to effect option increase the smooth end and press ok then we need to select the second text box from add animation select fly in from effect option select from right set start with previous duration 1.25 second delay 0.75 second Go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. Select the third text box, from add animation, select fly in again. From effect option, select from left, set a start with previous, duration 1.25 second, delay 1 second. Go to effect option, increase the smooth end and press OK. After that, we need to select this text box. To add the animation, from add animation, we'll select zoom set a start with previous duration 0.50 second delay 2.25 second 
now we need to add the animation on this star shape select the first one from add animation select zoom set a start with previous duration 0.25 second delay 2.50 second select the second star shape from add animation select zoom set a start with previous duration 0.25 second delay 2.75 second again we need to select zoom for the third one set a start with previous delay 3 second Adding the animations on these star shapes are very simple. You just need to select one shape from add animation, select zoom, set a start with previous duration 0.25 second and increase the delay so that it start after the previous animation. Lastly, we have to add the animation for this group. So from add animation, select zoom, set a start with previous duration 0.50 second, delay 2.75 second. We need to add another animation so from add animation this time i'll select teeter set a start with previous duration 1.25 second delay 3.75 second click on this drop down arrow go to effect option click on timing from here we need to select the repeat four times and press ok and we are done with adding all the animations now if you want you can play the animation from the very beginning so now the question comes that how we can render this work as a high quality video format. Let me show you the trick. When you are done with your work, you have to press Alter F11 and you will get this window. From here go to insert, click on module. Here you have to copy and paste some codes. I will provide you this code as a text file in the description of this video. So from there you can download and use it. After adding the codes in the module, you just need to close this window. You need not to save anything. Then go to view. Click on macros, click on this PowerPoint video option and click on run. And your video will be rendered within a few minutes and you will find the video file in the desktop. If you start the slideshow, you can see everything is working as expected. If you want to know how it looks when you upload this template as a story, you can visit to my Instagram profile there. I have already shared this template in the story section. As always, you can download this template for free of any cost. I will provide the download link in the description of this video. As this is our very fast facecam video, I think I have done everything correct. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe, press the bell icon so that you never miss any new video from this channel. Like and share this video and let me know your thoughts in the comments section. That's all from this video. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.